What's up guys, my name is Andy. In this video, I want to be installing a spoiler on the front of my 66 Mustang. The spoiler that I have, uh, I actually purchased for my previous Mustang and I just never got around to putting it on. Um, some of you that are familiar with my older videos, you saw the spoiler that I had on there. I wasn't really wild about the style, but I didn't really want to take it off, so I just left it and moved on and here we are with this car. This car, I didn't want to put the same spoiler on, but I have seen some pictures of other spoilers that can be put on this car, particularly spoilers that aren't even made for this car. For example, the there's a spoiler for the 67 to 69 Camaro that I have liked, and uh, that's the one that I purchased. Uh, that's this guy right here. And I purchased it partly because it's a little bit shorter, so it, when you put it up here, it doesn't go the full length of the front balance, but it also isn't some little mustache in the front here. It's just a subtle little difference, and of course with the angle of the car and everything, it's kind of hard to tell everything, so when we get it done, we can pull the car out and take a look at it. But I thought this is the one that I want to do, and then I've been holding my breath, thinking about it, nah, I don't know if I want to do it, and I just haven't <laughs> really been able to commit to putting this on the car because I don't know if this will look good on this car with it being black versus a white and blue car. I don't know if that would contrast. Uh, I just, <laughs> I've, been, I've been delaying trying to figure out if maybe there's a better spoiler out there. Um, we don't need to have one, but I do like the looks of them. And I think now I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on the car and I can always take it off if I don't like it. In fact, the screw holes that we put, they're gonna be underneath the front here where you won't even see them. They're not like on the front of the, the balance. They're gonna be on the bottom, bottom side. So you won't even see it. If I take this off, you won't even know. Uh, I do know that we need to remove these two bolts here because they are in the way, but we can put them in after we get this thing installed. We can redrill those. But um, also another problem that I have with this. So this car, um, when it got painted before I had it, um, they didn't, they didn't do the best job on the paint job. In fact, you can see right here when they when they masked this out for the blue stripes, they missed a spot. Um, I don't know why that. Anyways, so that's something that it's funny as you as you as you work on your car and you're getting going around doing things, you start finding little things here and there, like oh, well, why is that like that? Or now I got to fix that. And here's just another thing that I noticed that now I'm going to see that every single time I look at the front of my car. Also. <laughs> The stripe isn't centered. In fact, this hole right here is for a little rubber um, pedestal piece or something like that, that that goes behind the license plate to keep it from rattling. That is centered on the bumper or the balance, but the stripe isn't. So um, hopefully these uneven, un off centered stripes aren't going to look bad. Now to compound that, the way that this this is a cheap this is an eBay you know front spoiler. I paid like 60 bucks for it a year ago. There's still 60 bucks now. Um, you get what you pay for, but it was cheap, and so I didn't mind. These these pieces here, these bumps in the in the, the the lip or the spoiler, they aren't centered on this crease in the middle. And I don't know if they're supposed to be. Maybe that's something that aligns better with the way that the Camaro was made. I, I don't know, but um, it's not centered. In fact, the, the cutout here is not. I mean. That's okay, it was a cheap spoiler. But because it's not, things aren't centered here and this isn't centered, I don't know if it's gonna look bad. I mean, it's almost because this is offset that direction and this part is offset that direction if it's gonna make it worse. So I may just be, it might be just a losing cause here to begin with, I don't know. So that's all right. We're gonna go ahead and get everything mounted up here and, uh, and see how it comes out. But to, I did wanna show with this kit, the one that I bought, not only does it come with the mounting hardware, which is great to get that, it also came with these support bars. Um, now the downside with something like this is the way this is shaped and designed, this is fantastic for this kind of a lip because it would create a place for you to, I think it goes that way, it would create some support for the front lip so it doesn't fold under when you start getting just up to some speeds. There's nothing underneath the front of the Mustangs to mount this end of it to. So this would be great to have this on there, but there's nothing there. I'd have to make something. So I don't know if that's going to be something I'm going to have to deal with down the road, if it's going to be fine the way it is. Um, I don't know. And the downside is, is I won't know because when I'm driving, I'll be sitting back there and I won't get to see 
know, if the lip is folding on us or not. So that's something I'm going to have to explore in the future. And then uh, and the hardware that they, they, that they include is, is great because not only they, they got the fasteners, um, they've got these clips that, uh, I, I don't know what these clips are called, they've got the threads here on and you can slip them over the metal and it creates a place for you to have threads for the screws to bite into so you don't have to bite into the sheet metal of the valance. So that's pretty cool. Although I don't think we're going to need to use those. I think all we need are these smaller fasteners that they included uh, and that should be sufficient for putting through here and, and right up into the car. So uh, I do want to add a couple more. We've got two holes here and two holes there. I do want to put something in the center and that will help when we get this going. Um, and, but we'll show you how we're going to do all that. So um, I guess I'll go ahead and start taking this apart and mocking this up. Oh, and one more thing I wanted to point out. On this car, I don't know if the valance is different on different years, but for the 66, this, there's this lip on the bottom here, and from that edge to that edge, it's just shorter than the length of this. So what's great is it kind of gives you an, an option to center this lip on, the, this spoiler, on this lip of the valance, and it'll hide it just, it's, it's almost perfect. Um, so when you're putting this up there and you're trying to get the center of this thing, you do know that if this lip is sticking out the side, you've got the front spoiler one way or the other too far. So that's one way to great to be helped to great to, to make sure this thing is centered. So, all right, let's get started on this piece. And like I mentioned earlier, these fasteners here and here are in the way. So we got to get these out first. Then we can put them back after we get the lip installed. And we need to drill a hole in the top center of this so we can get this thing mounted in the center. All right, as we test fit this up here, remember on my car, this paint isn't centered and stuff, but this hole is almost perfect center on this, where this, this transition changes here. So I'm gonna align this new hole that I have, uh, kind of put this right around here, and then I'm actually gonna mark that with a Sharpie so I can drill a pilot, get a, get a hole drilled so I can run a screw up there. And once I get this thing mounted kind of right here, then I can work my way down and start tracing where the holes are gonna be for the part because this will be centered. Again, remember because of the this lip on here, we can use the edges of this front valance to kind of get the center of this spoiler or this this lip in the, in the right spot. All right, so it's kind of hard to see, but there is a dot here. So I'm gonna drill that hole first, get this lip mounted up. Then I'm gonna run this screw up in here just to make sure that the, the hole size is right. Great, that'll fit, perfect. I'm not going to tighten all the way because I want to be able to just kind of move this around, pivot around without putting any stress on this lip. So as we kind of fit this around in here, I'm noticing that obviously this lip is not designed for this car. So there's going to be a little bit of flexing to the lip so that it fits right. And because there's these bumps on the top of the, of the spoiler here, it's not going to fit perfectly because there's kind of a raised spot. So that's okay. It's going to be, it's going to be fine when we get done with it, but just know that it's not a perfect fit. And as we push this to the sides, yeah, everything's good here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push this down and mark the underside here with a, with a dot, just like we did on the center part so I can know where the holes are gonna be. Then I'll take this off and we can drill those holes out for these other screws. And again, same thing, I'm just gonna go ahead and just run these screw in here just to make sure the threads fit. So here's just a look at the fasteners put in for uh, what we've got here on the slip. Now remember we had those ones that we have to drill out here so you can kind of see that this is going to be a little tough because I don't want to 
miss this thing, but we do need to, to fasten this back to the car so we can go through and we can mark these real quick, take this thing off. In fact, I bet we could just drill this right here in place. We don't take this off uh, and get those other fasteners put back in. All right, drilling those holes actually isn't perfect because it's so far back on this thing. I just had to just basically take a chunk out of the lip. Same thing, you know, on this side over here. It's not perfect, but uh, that's okay. We'll get those fasteners back in. And then I'm gonna go ahead and tighten the rest of this lip down all the way, just finish sinking those screws. And we'll take a look at it from the front. All right, so it's looking pretty good. There is a little bit of gap underneath here, probably because of these raised pieces. And then there's actually a dent in the bottom of this valance, so there's kind of an extra gap here. But it tightens up as you go towards the edges. And it doesn't look so bad over here other than the, than the paint problem. But let's get the car lowered and see how it looks while it's sitting on the ground. That doesn't look so bad at all. Let's pull it outside and get some sunlight on it. So what do you guys think? Uh, you know, I was when I was out there looking at the car, kind of push on it. It's still a little flimsy, and I imagine as the wind, gets, you know, begins to push on it as you're driving, uh, it it will deflect a little bit. I might have to figure out something with those support pieces in the back, but it does look. I will say it's clean, right? It's not. It's not a huge lip that's taking over the front of the car. It's not in your face. It's subtle. Uh, I do like this kind of pointed, you know, this this edge here because it kind of aligns with the point of the car. The, the front of the car does that. So I like that part. What do you guys think? Um, you know, I haven't, I don't know. I guess I can always take it off. It's just a couple of screws, no big deal. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments what you think about this type of lip on a car like this. Is it too much? Is it dumb? Is it awesome? You know, I've seen a lot of cars that, you know, the lip, when you put it on, or the spoiler, when you put it on there, it, it almost completes the car or it goes with the car. You know, the car, the way the car is, is done, it adds a lot to the car and it's a good compliment. Other cars, it's almost a, you know, it's like putting a mustache on the Mona Lisa, right? Some, some cars, they don't look good and, and this could be in that range. I'm not sure. I like it. That's, that's kind of why I've delayed so long to be putting on the car because I'm just not sure. But I want to know what you guys think because, uh, you know, I, I've been working with you guys as a community and getting your feedback on my car. You know, what I really like is some of the, the comments that you guys put about things that you're interested in seeing and, and stuff that you're maybe working on your car and you want to see. Uh, so that kind of helps a lot and helps gauge what I need to do for, for the next video or whatever. But anyways, so guys, let me know what you think about this. Uh, that's it. That's a spoiler on my Mustang. And uh, I don't know. I like it. So I might leave it. Guys, if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. And if you subscribe, I appreciate it because it helps my channel out. And we'll see you in the next one.